for cheap and safe coins, check out MMOGA in the description below and use the code KIZ for a fat fucking discount. Make sure you list that in form so you don't get banned. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kista here and today we have a 700 coin amazing hybrid squad build and this squad, I literally love this squad so, so much. The formation we are using today is a 4-3-2-1 formation, which is one of the best formations on the game. But before I show you this squad, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Recently, loads of people have been liking my videos and subscribing, so thank you so much for the support. Also, to all the new subscribers, I do a 50k giveaway on every single squad builder that you see on my channel. And the previous squad builder, the winner was chosen. And for you to win 50k, make sure you follow all the rules in the description and enter the giveaway. So, starting this team off, in goalkeeper we have a guy called Perrin and he is such a good goalkeeper, so cheap, 2100 coins, he's 83 rated, his stats are 80 diving, 90 reflexes which is just insane, 85 handling which is proper good and 78 positioning. This goalkeeper has also got a glove chemistry style on him and this keeper is literally better than Butland. You guys know how good Butland is, this guy, I can literally swear on it, he's better than him, he's so damn good, I don't understand how he's so good, he's literally better than Buffon, when I use Buffon he was so so bad but this Perrin guy he makes saves that will make you literally scream he's such a good goalkeeper I can't find a better replacement than him now in the right back position we have Lam he cost me 24,000 coins and he is 88 rated he's got medium high work rates 5 foot 7 and his stats are 68 pace which looks pretty slow for a right back but you need to put the shadow camera style on him He's also got 84 dribbling, 82 passing and 86 defending. He's a pretty good right back and in game I literally put him like right next to the centre back. He looks a bit slow for right back but trust me he's a very solid right back. With that shadow chemistry style on him it improves his pace by a lot and he's defending. In the first centre back position we have one of the best centre backs on the game and that is Chiellini, 88 rated, 36k, 6 foot 2, low high work rates which is amazing for a centre back and his stats are 74 pace, 90 defending which is insane, 85 physical as well and this centre back literally never lets me down, he's such a solid centre back, he's got insane strength. Insane defending, he's literally like one of the best centre backs, like I said already, I'm pretty sure everyone's tried him out, and he is very good. Now in the next centre back position we have Barzagli, 15,000 coins, he's also 6 foot 2 and low high work rates, just like Chiellini, and his stats are pretty similar as well, 74 pace, 89 defending, that's one less defending than Chiellini, he's also got 79 physical as well, and he's such a good centre, Chiellini 2.0, such a good centre back, his defending is on point, and he has 92 interceptions, and he's got dark green stats in his defending stats. Now in left back we have Alaba, 85,000 coins for the best left back on the game. He's 87 rated, 5 foot 11, high medium work rates and he's left footed. And his stats are pretty damn good for a left back. 86 pace, 83 dribbling, 73 shooting, 83 defending, 81 passing and 73 physical. He's also got the shadow coverage style on him as well. And the other two centre backs, I didn't really mention it but they both have anchor on them. Alaba, he's the best left back I've used. So damn good, so quick, good at defending, good at everything. Now in the first CM position and the RCM position we have Vidal, 105,000 coins, high high work rates, 5 foot 11, 4 star weak foot, 87 rated and his stats are fucking amazing. 77 pace, 79 dribbling, 81 shooting, 84 defending, 84 physical and 80 passing. He's also got the engine chemistry style on him which improves his dribbling, pace and passing which makes him 80 plus everything pretty much. And he's such a solid CM, he's one of my favourite CMs on the game as well. Now next to him we have Renato Sanchez, also from Bayern, 4,400 coins, 78 rated, high high work rates, just like Vidal, 4 star weak foot, and his stats are pretty overall, just like Vidal. And Sanchez is literally one of the most overpowered CMs on the game, he's got 82 pace, 79 dribbling, 72 defending and shooting, 70 passing and 84 physical, he's got the anchor chemistry style on him as well. And this player is all around the pitch, he's literally everywhere, he's so damn good, I don't know what makes him like so good and overpowered. Now in the third CM position we have Thiago, in form 86 rated Thiago, 48,000 coins, his stats are pretty good for a CM, 74 pace, 91 dribbling, his dribbling is amazing, the best in this team, 81 shooting for a CM as well, that's incredible, and 86 passing, he's such a good passer. Now moving on into the attack, we have 84 rated in Form Dembele. I'm pretty sure this is his second or third in form, I can't even remember, but this card is amazing. He cost me 129,000 coins, 5 foot 10, 5 star weak, he can shoot with any foot, 4 star skills as well, and his stats are pretty damn good for an in form. And his stats are amazing, 88 pace, 88 dribbling, 
82 shooting and 86 passing. He's literally so damn good. One of my favorite right wingers I've used. And I've only used him for like one game and he was amazing in the game. He didn't score, but he was playing so damn good. He's dribbling and his pace is literally lethal. Now in left forward, we have Marco Royce. 111,000 coins. 5 foot 11, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves and his stats are pretty good. 90 pace, 86 dribbling, 85 shooting and 84 passing. I've used him loads of times on this game and he is truly amazing. One of my favourite wingers on the game. He's so good, I don't understand what makes him like so good. He's literally good at everything. He's literally a striker in that left forward position and that is amazing. That's why I love the 4-3-2-1 formation because you're pretty much playing with 3 strikers and Royce Absolutely amazing, scored 5 goals in 7 games and he's assisted quite a lot. Now, to complete this amazing team off in striker, you probably already know it by now, it is Aubameyang, 185,000 coins. 185,000 coins, 6 foot 2 which is amazing for a striker, high low work rates, yet again amazing for a striker, 4 star weak foot, now unfortunately he doesn't have a 4 star skill move set, but he is that sweaty type of pace abusing player, he's got 96 pace, 80 dribbling, 84 shooting and 75 passing, also 71 physical as well, and he is such a good well rounded card in striker, he's got good physical, insane pace, decent dribbling and amazing finishing and shooting. I've got the sniper chemistry style on him and that improves his dribbling and shooting. Now when I used him as basic, his dribbling was so bad, literally I couldn't dribble with him and sniper improves it by a lot and literally that's the best chemistry style you need on him. And he completes the team off, he's very sweaty, very fast and he's just amazing, just scores loads of goals and he's always up there ready to score goals. That's what I love about Aubameyang. So this is how the team looks like and it looks like such a good team. Now the player instructions for the left back and right back are to stay back while attacking so they don't attack, they literally stay back and track back. Obviously Lam is on stay back as well. Also in the middle Sanchez is stay back while attacking because sometimes he attacks too much and literally when he's like defending he's amazing in defence. Thiago is set to stay forward and also I forgot to mention Sanchez and Vidal have aggressive interceptions as well. Now for the attack. The instructions on Royce are balanced, getting behind, conservative interceptions and press back line. The same goes for Dembele as well, the exact same. Now for Bamiang, he is set to stay central, getting behind, conservative interceptions and press back line. Now the custom tactics are pretty basic, everything is on default except for positioning, that is on free form and the defence, the pressure is on 30, aggressions on 50 and the team width is on 40 and also the most important part, the defender line is on cover. So let's get right into a game and try this team out. Okay we have found an opponent and his team is a Premier League team and my team is much better. But the problem is he's playing 5 at the back. I hate people who play 5 at the back. So let's try and beat this guy. Come on Aubameyang. Come on Aubameyang. Let's go Aubameyang. Bang 1-0 let's go. What a player. His pace is incredible. He literally ran past everyone. Bellerin couldn't even catch him up. And what a finish that was. Oh shit, I think I got a red card. Please don't tell me that's a red card, come on. Oh, it's gonna be a red card, are you kidding me? Oh look, it's Matip. My defense is literally nowhere. Get him. And he literally scored with fucking Matip as well. Where is my defense? Where is my fucking defense, man? Dembele, how has he not scored? Oh, and he scored that. Goal, 3-2. 3-3, let's go. I didn't press a button. I did not press a button. I did not press a button. What is this? I didn't press a button. What is that? He didn't fucking touch him. And he's missed. Thank fuck for that. So the game ended 3-3 and you saw all of his goals, it was so scripted and so much aids in this game. So I'm going to play another game where someone doesn't use 5 at the back. Let's go. Okay so let's play the second game and this guy's team is another Premier League team. And it does not look good whatsoever. It looks so cheap as well. That squad must have cost him about 50k. Royce, let's go, 1-0. Hopefully this game is not an EA AIDS game again like the first one. Just take the ball off of him. Bang, let's go, 2-0. Vidal, what a player. I love him. Come on, Aubameyang, finish the game off. Finish the game, son. 
finish the game. Bang, off the post and in. Bamyang is so good. Strikers, there's not many amazing strikers on this game. That's why Bamyang, sooner or later, you're going to try him. And he's going to be really good. What a finish, off the post and in. Royce! Oh, nearly. That's it, the game's over. We've won 3 0. Abamyang was the man, and Royce, and Vidal. I really recommend that you make this squad. Royce, Abamyang, and Inform Dembele are deadly in the attack, and this team as a whole is very, very good. So I really recommend that you make the squad if you have 700k. Now, on the PlayStation, it might be more. It's probably, it's probably like 900k on the PlayStation. So that is it for this video, hope you enjoyed it, if you did make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, please do those things, don't forget and do not leave this video without, and also make sure you enter that 50,000 coin giveaway that I do on every single squad, all the rules are down below in the description, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time, peace!